Many years ago, only a few were privileged to hear great music. Now, by the magic of radio, all may hear. In the past, books, the wisdom of the ages, were arduously kept alive, copied page by page, letter by letter. Each letter was a masterpiece of design, of patient craftsmanship, of consummate skill. And the result? A single masterpiece, destined only for the hands of the rich, the learned, or the great. Today, by the magic of printing, a single pair of hands duplicates in minutes the work that once took years. The skill of the author, the craftsmanship of the artist are locked together in a single master plate. From the master plate come the thousands and thousands of copies, duplicate pages exact and perfect to the tiniest detail. Books, the wisdom of the ages, multiplied a million fold for all to enjoy. Luxurious transportation, too, was once the privilege of the few. The coaches of the rich were handmade of the rarest woods, the finest leathers, and the richest velvets, fit for a queen and worth a king's ransom. Even today, the engineering model of a new Chevrolet represents far more than a king's ransom in the vast sums invested in experimental work, design, testing, and proving. The first model of each new line of cars is literally handmade by craftsmen, just as were the early cars. Today's car and tomorrow's too would cost a small fortune if each car had to be made by hand. Yet through quality mass production, new Chevrolets are made each year, masterpieces of transportation which millions of people can afford. The miracle of quality mass production begins with the raw material. It begins with the mountains of steel plate, the billets of iron, and the hundreds of other types of materials needed. But quantity alone is no guarantee of quality in the finished product. So the research laboratories and the engineering and experimental facilities of Chevrolet, plus all the vast resources in personnel, equipment, and know-how of General Motors Research Division, must be thrown into the job of determining the qualities demanded for the best performance in the finished car. In the material test laboratories, plates of highest test carbon steel are stretched and broken by forces far greater than any chassis brace or body panel will ever be subjected to. Castings of experimental engine parts are pulverized and torn or burnt out in days and months of full speed operations tests. Test plates of paints and lacquers are bent and twisted. Here in the Chevrolet test lab, the top qualities of the raw materials are determined and the specifications set. Every raw material has within it exactly the same maximum degree of quality and the same ability to meet with maximum performance the purpose of the finished part into which it will be fabricated. But Chevrolet quality mass production is dependent on more than quality materials alone. It takes the finest machines in the world, products of Chevrolet ingenuity and know-how. These are the master dies, which turn out in a single tremendous blow, completed parts, accurate and exact to a fraction of a thousandth of an inch which repeats this miracle of production thousands of times every day. From other master patterns, whole batteries of power presses stamp out precisely formed door panels and top sections. Multi-drilled precision machines bore the six cylinders of Chevrolet's overhead valve engine in a single operation. And the cylinders are honed to mathematical trueness and polish in a matter of seconds. Rough forged axles Thousands of axles each day are formed from the toughest and strongest alloys. Precision machining operations make each axle of carbon nickel chrome alloy exactly like every other. With instruments of precision and quality control, science has strengthened the eye, the hand of the skilled craftsman, to help him judge the quality of his work. Gauges used in the mass duplication of the finest motor cars are accurate in measurements to the fraction of a thickness of a human hair. Inspection never ceases. The constant checking and double checking goes on. 
gears are checked against master gears to detect the slightest deviation in the pitch or angle of the gear teeth. X-ray machines look for hidden flaws deep within the steel heart of a seemingly perfect crankshaft. Each new engine is first driven electrically and lubricating oil is forced into every part of the engine. Then the oil pan is removed so bearings and other moving parts can be rigidly inspected. Finally, the engine receives tests under its own power to make certain it matches the perfection demanded by Chevrolet valve and head engine standards. But quality mass production needs even more than machines and instruments and inspection. Chevrolet quality mass production demands people. People who are trained, skillful, and alert. Thousands of people. But beyond the men, machines, and instruments of production is the job of putting all the parts together. It takes timing to swing a box girder frame onto a moving line. It takes timing and system to get the chassis parts where they're needed, when they're needed. And on the engine assembly line, split-second timing keeps the transmission, the fuel pump, the carburetor and generator moving in faultless assembly order, one locking into the other. Precision timing brings the engine to the main assembly line, a second after the last bolt has been tightened and inspected on the chassis. The schedule and delivery of more than 15,000 separate parts to the line is no simple matter. Production know-how, implemented by systems of control, gets every part from the stockpiles and storage bins to the line. The parts arrive on the line with timetable precision. At just the right moment, a body of a particular color to match the wheels is swung onto the chassis. On a feeder line, the front fender's assembly to match is moving up in an exact predetermined spot in that feeder line. With parade ground precision, the fender line swings abreast the main assembly line. But what about interior trim and upholstery to match? On another feeder line, front and rear seats upholstered in complementary tones were on their way long ago. They arrived on the main line on time when they were needed. It was planned that way weeks and months in advance. Car after car moves down the line, each car a masterpiece of 15,000 individual parts. And rigid inspection still continues to make certain that the completed cars are as perfect as men and machines can make them. Each car is driven off the line for a test run before it's allowed to leave the plant. 15,000 individual parts operating as a single smooth running unit. Men and machines have multiplied 15,000 parts by a thousand times a thousand into a smooth flowing symphony of comfort, beauty of line, the durability and safety, the economical performance that mean Chevrolet, the masterpiece for millions.